you don't always need to use a tap wrench when you're tapping holes. Here we've got a piece of steel that's about 10mm thick and I've drilled a, a pilot hole in there already so that hole's now ready to be tapped. Normally what you do is you choose a tap with the biggest lead on which is that one which is your starter tap and you'd normally put that in your tap wrench and then tap a hole through there. What you can do is take a drill put the tap in the end of the drill just tighten the truck up so if you look around the top of the drill here we've got the actual torque control so number one is the least torque and then you can go all the way up to number 21 on here which is the greatest amount of torque and what that actually means is if you put it on number one and you're drilling something or you're tapping something and it, it'll jam pretty easily because it'll jam at a low torque so I'll just demonstrate you can actually stop that quite easily with your hand that clicking noise is quite normal that's the actual torque control working when you get up to number 21 it'll be a lot more difficult to, to stop it and you probably won't be able to stop it by hand so we're going to choose a, a low torque setting which is about number three and we've also put the drill on a slow speed which is number one it's also essential that the drill is in the forward gear so it should be turning in a clockwise direction so the first thing I'm going to do is just spray a bit of cutting fluid or tapping fluid in the hole and then if you just take your drill make sure it goes in straight and then you don't really need to apply any pressure at this point and just squeeze the trigger slowly and you can see that it's starting to bite once you've gone in a couple of threads just stick the drill in reverse and just come back out a bit and then put it back in forwards again and then go forwards and then again slip it in reverse again and just come back a bit and then put it back in forwards and just keep pulsing the trigger and as you can see we've gone straight through there now it's important that you don't go all the way through and what you don't want to do is jam the drill in there because the actual taps are made from iron steel and it is very easy to break them they're very tough but they're also very brittle so you can now put it on reverse and reverse the tap out of there And now you've got a taps hole ready to accept the correct bolt.